small place. And we're gonna have something called Hama. So if you remember last time we had Pongo, we had three layers. So basically we start off with some samgyeopsal. We're gonna add a little kimchi and some fine octopus. Now and we're all gonna wash it down with some pretty good makuli. I think it'd be a good time to like show a great video videos too. So, come up. Time is three. Original uh, gun. Very good. Wash down. Come back. Uh, Smokery is really good. It's really kind of carbonated a little bit. It's perfect. Since this is a very short video uh, and we are in a drinking bar, I think it would be the perfect place to talk about Korean drinking etiquette. So, the first thing we should know is Kongbae. There's a kind of a cheers. Okay. Good. So now, my friend here has a uh, He doesn't have, I don't have much makuri, and uh, I'm getting served by an older person, so I should put my hand here and receive. Good. But I also noticed that he has little makuri, and in Korean culture, you don't serve yourself because there's a kind of a saying that uh, you serve yourself, the person across from you gets fat dog. The person across from you gets fat dog because he didn't serve you. So, okay. And like he, I'm serving him also. We see with your hands. Now, I'm here with friends. But if this was an older person that I don't know very well, and it's alcohol, I might want to turn away what I drink. Because it's disrespect disrespectful to drink uh, in front of an older person. So, receive with both hands. Give with also. And turn around when you drink. And come. That's Korean drinking etiquette. Okay, so I will let you know guys the, the one more etiquette for the drinking the alcohol in Korea. The, if I receive a alcohol from the older people and then I, I cannot put it down it directly. I, I should drink a riddle and then put it down and no problem. That is one more etiquette for the drinking alcohol in Korea. So guys, uh, one, one more thing, I, I realized that uh, maybe you guys uh, don't know about the drinking alcohol in Korea. The, uh, just uh, before the Roy uh, uh, just uh, tried to give me, he tried to give me the, the alcohol to me. That means in Korea, the, I should bottom zip up and then I can get receive the Roy. The, the, uh, that that means in Korea uh, we never uh, add, we never add the the alcohol if it's not empty. So I should uh, yeah, must, must <laughs> yeah, I should then, complete and then I can receive the alcohol. Oh. That's a very important thing in in Korea. Uh, in, 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 yeah, in Korea. It is totally different from Chinese world. Because Chinese one, as soon as there is a little bit, yeah, don't make it empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 totally different. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. In Chinese culture, you don't let someone drink go empty because then you start filling them up. And in Korean culture, you wait until it's empty to refill. But it's also the same in food. In Chinese culture, uh, you should not see the bottom of their plate because that means if you're a host, you're not feeding them enough or you're not doing your job. But in Korean culture, if it's empty, you should wait till it's empty before you fill up. So, interesting notes. Keep that in mind.
Okay, it's going. Yeah, okay. I, I just realized that this entire thing is only 10 days. Actually, the, the other alcohol is supposed to be just, uh, the several years, but this is only 10 days. It's because I think this is the premium so, luckily. Yeah. A little luckily. <laughs> so, we're actually going to eat some group set. Now, this is not like the same website you saw before. Uh, there's a trend kicking up, and that's the Korean fusion food. As many of you know, many, there's kimchi fries or bulgogi tacos. So, the world is becoming more aware of Korean food. And something that's happening is we're steering away from all the traditional things, and more chefs are venturing into different kinds of food. So, today we're going to try a different kind of samgyeopsal. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how it's cooked, but I think it's made with uh, potatoes and steam. So it sounds very interesting. Not your usual way of cooking samgyeopsal. But uh, I'm open to all kinds of food and it's still Korean. So let's give it a try. And I've never had very fancy broccoli. But cheers. There's many different ways of getting food to the world, and this is one of them. Basically, this pork was kind of cooked and put aside for a while, and then it was infused with these potatoes. And I can't really even explain how it's cooked. That's the thing about this. But we're gonna try it out. Wow, it's so soft. It's like falling apart just by touching it. This is exciting. Like I say, a lot of new uh, cooks are coming out from Korea and they're getting the food out by using it. a Korean fusion food. So this is a taste of the West combined with Korea. Wow. Delicious, right? That's amazing. Pop cooked potatoes gravy. Very soft, well cooked. I'm not sure what they make pork. But it tastes amazing. So, Korean fusion food coming to you soon. Appetizer for the with the, the beer. Is it medium? Yep. Okay. So, I'm eating this little fried shrimp. And it's really the most amazing shrimp I've ever had. I'm not even kidding with you guys. Man. To think that fusion food unlocks for all this potential. It's like potato chips for a shrimp. <laughs> so good. Anyways, uh, like I said, why restrain yourself when you can open the door to so many flavors and try experimenting with Korean food? 